Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to another Ultimate Review by PureCast9. In this episode, I'm going to give you the most in-depth and unbiased review of the Tag Liberty Dots Truly Wireless Earbuds. So these are the smallest truly wireless earbuds from Tag with a claimed battery life of 30 hours. So before I give you my verdict as to how it sounded in my testing, which would be the main criteria why you would pick these, let's go through the specs that these earbuds offer. So the Tag Liberty Dots offer Bluetooth version 5, which means very low power consumption and ultra low latency. So when you're watching movies and relaying the sound, there is going to be very little or almost no lag between the video and audio. It also comes with IPX4, water and dust resistance. So if you're planning to use these for workouts, sweat is not a problem. Now the charging case has a capacity of 350 milliamp hours and the earbuds themselves pack 50 milliamp hours each. Now TAC claims that at one go, these earbuds on a full charge will give you five hours of continuous playback, not at 100% volume, maybe at reduced volumes. And coupled with the charging case, you get close to 25 to 30 hours of continuous playback which is mighty impressive. Now the Tag Liberty Dots also pack inbuilt microphone, so you can answer your calls with this and the call quality was a-okay. The other person had no problem listening to my voice when I answered calls through this. Now the thing I love about the design of the Tag Liberty Dots is how small they are. I mean, Tag wasn't kidding when they said these are the smallest truly wireless earbuds that they've made. It is so small, it is so compact, fits right in the fist of your hand and the material they've used for the case is a grippy matte texture which feels really nice. Now what I love about the earbuds themselves is that they have a very tactile clicky button on both the earbuds that doubles as your multifunction control button. So you do the usual play pause tracks, skip tracks, answer and end calls and this is what I like and I'm glad they didn't go for a touch capacitive surface because that leads to a lot of, you know, unintended touches where if you just want to set the earphone in your ear and it touches the surface, it'll pause the track or summon your voice assistant. And that is really irritating. But with this, you have a very clicky and tactile button where you deliberately have to press and get a nice feedback. And, you know, you don't have those accidental touches where it messes up your music listening or movie watching experience. The earbuds themselves are very comfortable in your ear and fit snug. And they also come with different sized ear tips. So make sure you find the right fit so that you get the best passive noise isolation. So now let's talk about the sound. How did the Tag Liberty Dots perform in my testing? But before I delve deep into the three frequencies, highs, mids, lows, and give you the breakdown, let me just start off by saying that I started off thinking that these earbuds being so small, so puny, that the sound would be reflective or in proportion to how small they are. So maybe a small sound signature, nothing too boomy or nothing mighty impressive, but I was wrong. These definitely pack a punch and a good one at that. So starting off with the highs, where the really sharp sounding instruments lie, the Tag Liberty Dots produced very sharp highs, very audible, not sounding tinny, not having sibilance, and at a wide variety of volumes, there was no crackling, and it maintained its separate track from the mids and the lows. So the highs, very good. Now coming to the mid frequencies where the vocals lie, again, vocals, loud and clear, very sharp and bright, again, maintained good separation from the highs and the lows, and a lot of the natural tonality of the voice was also very, very nicely maintained in any track that I played, which was vocal heavy. So no problems there. But if I had to be nitpicking in this uh, particular frequency, I would say that the mids could have a bit more depth so that the vocals would sound just a shade bit more rich. But this is me being really harsh. Apart from that, the mids are just fine. Now coming to the lows where the or the low end or the bass, which we all love. Now I truly wasn't expecting this to have impressive bass, but again, I was wrong because the Tag Liberty Dots really pack a punch. I mean, the bass is very punchy and it's thick and all the tracks that I threw at it, even the ones which had a lot of bass, it did not disappoint. You know, it did justice to it. Again, 
in this particular frequency, if I again had to be really harsh and criticize, I would say that it could have gone one notch deeper in terms of rendering the bass. But this is again me being really harsh just because I have to find something negative to give you the most real world review. But all in all, I really wouldn't want to complain about the bass because it is very punchy, it's got the thump and altogether the highs, mids, lows give you a very good experience whether you're watching movies or listening to music, any genre without distortion, without sounding tinny and all in all very very pleasant. So would I recommend this? Absolutely I would. And very quickly the Tag Liberty Dots has become one of my go-to truly wireless earbuds. Firstly because of its ultra ultra portable size, its great sound quality, its decent battery backup, Bluetooth version 5, good call quality. So what else would you want? So guys, that's been the review of the Tag Liberty Dots. If you're impressed by this and you do want to pick one up for yourselves, which I highly recommend that you do, you won't be disappointed. Make sure you use this link when you're making your purchase because this will give you a discount and you could save yourself some precious money and get yourself a very good pair of truly wireless earbuds. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by. If you've enjoyed this review, please smash that like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to PRCast9 if you haven't already, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.